Hello dear students, I hope you must have found the case study of Emily Lawn Care Services very interesting and so did I. I'm going to suggest some of the answers that you can later um, convert into your own answers and you can develop your own answers and I would really encourage you to develop your own answers and a little bit of help you can get from the answers that I'm going to suggest to you um, in this video tutorial. So what were the questions after the case study that we uh, found? The question number one, in what ways are Emily's customers most likely to judge the quality of her loan care services? Answer would be like, I would say basically Emily's loan care services can be judged through appearance. Her customers can decide satisfaction by simply observing the area in which Emily did some service, whether she succeeded in eradicating those unsightly and tall grasses, leaving the yard to have a more pleasing, pleasant scenery, you know, scenery than before. It can also be judged if the instructions being specified were met by Emily in addition. Emily's credibility and insight from the other customers will also be considered by the potential customers. So let's move on to question number two. Emily is the operations manager of her business. Among her responsibilities are forecasting, inventory management, scheduling, quality assurance and maintenance. And the question number two, part A. What kind of things would likely require forecast? I would say, if I were to write the answer for this, Emily should be able to forecast the weather in performing the service. And it is not good to do some, you know, mowing when the weather is not particularly good. Um, you know, such as if it's raining or there is a storm. Furthermore, Emily should also determine the demand for her loan care services, such as average number of requests she gets daily. This way she can properly, you know, properly schedule work and maintain the necessary equipment. It is also advantageous for Emily if she can, you know, if she can forecast um, how many weeks before the grasses will grow longer to the point in which her regular customers will need her again to take care for their respective lawns. Moving on, question number two, part B. What inventory items does Emily probably have? Name one inventory decision she has to make periodically. Usually, when someone engages to lawn care business, the items that will most probably be needed include lawn mowers, um, fertilizers, seeds, grass cutters, and other gardening tools such as rack, you know, weeders. Um, hedge, shears, shovel, and many others. <clears throat> of all these inventory items, the most important would be the lawn mower, and she has to keep its maintenance periodically in order for it to last longer, and ensuring that it's on the best condition since it brings a material impact for her business aside from its usage. The lawnmower is technically an equipment with machine that requires maintenance. Moving on, question number two, part C. What scheduling must she do? What things might occur to disrupt schedules and cause Emily to reschedule? Emily may schedule the time when to perform service and how many hours will it take to complete. It is highly important because it would ensure smooth operations for her business and keep the customer well informed, thus give more you know, probability of their satisfaction. The duration of service is also an important thing to schedule because it would determine the appropriate compensation and the number of clients she can handle in a given period of time. In relation to forecasting factors such as weather and you know customer demand as well as malfunctioning of the machines and availability of her workers affect the scheduling of Emily's services. Moreover, you know, lawn area 
loan condition and the number of services of a request made by a given customer can also affect Emily's scheduling. Moving on, question number two, part D. How important is quality assurance to Emily's business? Explain. Simply stating, quality assurance is assuring quality. Quality assurance is assuring that tasks, procedures and processes are executed exactly as intended every time. Like most establishments, quality assurance is indeed highly important for Emily's lawn care business since it would help her to clearly identify weaknesses and inconsistencies in her business and enable her to design techniques on how to remedy or prevent them. As mentioned, it would ensure smooth operations and help increase customer demands. Thus, it would mean more profit. Quality assurance also reflects on her business credibility or reputation. And the final question uh, is, you know, part E of the second question. What kinds of maintenance would, you know, must be performed? <coughs> Even if Emily is starting a small business, there are still a need for some maintenance, specifically on service quality, inventory management and contact with the customers. On service quality, Emily should be able to maintain the quality of her work for all of her customers which can be judged based on the indicators given on the first question. Of course, maintenance of her inventory items and equipment are critically a need. She should maintain and check that the condition of her lawn mowers and gardening tools are in best condition. In addition, the checking of expiration dates for her fertilizers should also be consistent. When it comes to customer contact, Emily should maintain good communications with her customers in order to be updated and effectively deal any, you know, unanticipated changes like for example if a customer decides to cancel his her request or reschedule it for some other time because of some reasons then Emily can take proper measures on these occurrences therefore it would help maintain healthy client relationship and contribute to a smooth flow of operations I hope these answer will help you in writing your own answers for the questions that have been given at the end of the case study. Thank you very much.